So for blood vessels, the tiger salamanders are worthless. Okay, you might be able to see a few, but they're not injected, and they never drain the blood out, so they're going to look like little brown threads. So for seeing things, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. The mud puppies are really what will be tagged on your practical for blood vessels. A little extra pressure, you're going to have to hold on to the, take very good care of your mud puppies, the two mud people, mud puppy people, because we just found out that there's no mud puppies available for next semester. So we're going to use your animals to demonstrate next semester. Some of you will still be here, not just you, but we'll be using uh, those mud puppies to demonstrate next semester. So your dissection is going to be pretty important, which is why I'm doing the one for Joshua. So again, we got an opening already, so we're just going to continue on. Take a little room, make sure that tie is pulling up on the above lying structure so you're less likely to cut into the underlying structures. Come up right to about here, to about the core, supracoracoideus. And going down can be a problem because everything's pretty tight in here and you can damage the intestines doing that. So it's a lot of times a good idea to kind of bend the hips when you go, so you can see where you're going, and also give you a little more flexibility. And the mud puppy a little flexibility too. There we go. So then we're gonna do a couple of transverse incisions. Of course, everything's a little asymmetrical here because of the way the animal is open up. Remember in lecture talk about the ventral abdominal vein? There it is. I said you're probably not losing it when you cut the animal open, but you will. And this is going to be similar to what we saw with the shark, where most of it's going to be just clearing away the peritoneal folds and tracing things out. So, as you can see right here, just the peritoneal folds are a little prettier on these animals. Just go in and open that up. That's it. Very gentle. You can't clean the blood vessels more than that on the shark or the mud puppy. Their vessels are very, very fragile. You try to clean them, you're just going to destroy them. So you just trace them out. So here we can see the liver. At the end of the liver, you got this little deflated balloon here. That's the gallbladder. Here we can see the lung of your mud puppy. And that lung is going to be another thing to separate out. Next to it, kind of looking like a piece of calamari, are the mesonephric ducts. This being a little boy, down here is his testicle. And you'll see a gray thing between the post cava and the testicle, with a lot of little blood vessels in between. That gray thing is the kidney. The mesonephric, or if you prefer, opisthonephric kidney. Here we have the small intestine. All these little arteries leading into the small intestine are called mesenterics. Then they branch into smaller vessels called intestinals. In the case of the vein, <clears throat> we have one mesenteric vein and a number of intestinals coming off of it. Here we can see the big post cava. Here we see our nice yellow hepatic portal vein on the back side of the kidney, I'm sorry, of the liver, right there. We just roll things around, do a little cleaning up, and we're going to see all this stuff pretty easily. It takes little time to clean this, just a lot more time trying to identify things because it's all so tiny and compact. All right? And then eventually, you're going to come out onto the arms and clean away the blood vessels on the arms. So you can see those, the arms and the legs. All right, so that's the mud puppy. Tiger salmon.